Jesus for saving my soul. Oh, you are my refuge. You are my life. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, as I was saying, I started uh, singing and then a war broke out in Liberia that destroyed our country and there was no running water, there was no electricity and some days it was very tough, you know, nobody was going to get food to eat, but God was good in the midst of everything because he provided for me. Uh, I remember when I was at a checkpoint where a railroad soldier almost took my life, but uh, God intervened in that situation and saved my life. Well, his the commander came and said, "Let this guy go." And uh, it was very, very uh, terrible at that time. And everywhere you went, there was a faction of rebels uh, fighting against one another. Now, Liberia is not a very big country, so. Uh, but in the midst of it, God still used me even during the war to still minister uh, and sing, uh, share the good news of Christ uh, through music. And so, I just thank Him for how far He has brought me, and uh, I just want to. Glorify his name for that. And so the next song I'm going to do for you guys is called Glorify Your Name. Thank you. 
And so we can lean on that to know that we have a blessed hope, and that is Jesus. So I want to be closing with a song here, and uh, this song is called Blessed Assurance. Uh, you got a full blessed assurance before. It's a little bit different from the way I'm going to do it. Actually, I titled this song African Blessed Assurance. And so I hope that you are blessed, you are blessed and enjoy this song. And also after the service today, I'll be out there in the fellowship hall. And you can talk to me. And I just thank God for the pastor and for Bethany Lutheran Church. May the Lord continue to bless all of you. And may the Lord continue to use your church here in this community. And like I said, hold on to Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you. Here we go. So I go like this. Yes, man. We got to keep the real again. There we go. Mm -hmm. Blessed and show that Jesus is my dead. Oh, what a forty of glory to die. Hell of salvation, but she's not God. One of the spirits washing the blood. Lasana, uh, we are so grateful to have him here. Please give him another round of applause.
going to take me just a moment to reset. And so uh, I guess hold, hold, hold all in prayer. <laughs> Okay. Well, we are so grateful for uh, Lasana and Carolee coming. It's Carolee, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you for coming. Um, so we will uh, start the next part with the Apostles' Creed. So please stand as we speak our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may be seated as we pray, as we pray. Hmm. Holy God, we give you thanks for this beautiful music that we had today and a a beautiful testimony. And we just thank you for always interweaving into our lives in ways that we just don't expect. We thank you for using us as instruments, using us as, as your instruments, giving us gifts for others and to give you glory, Lord Jesus God. We thank you for that. Hear us. Oh, God. Your mercy is great. Lord God, we give you thanks for Wayne Spriegel coming out of recent surgery. We thank you for him, and, and we ask that you keep him healthy. And Lord, we, um, we ask for peace within Africa, especially Sudan. We ask for um, peace in our world and other nations that are having so much trouble these days. And we ask for peace within our nation, God for us to come together as one. Hear us, O God. What other prayers would you like to lift up to the Lord today? Lord God, we lift up Uh, Bill's daughter-in-law who has dementia we lift up all those who suffer with dementia and we pray for them and their caregivers Lord God hear us O God Lord God we pray for Bill's uh, the family of Bill's friend We know that his friend is with you, God, in in your loving arms. But we pray for those who are grieving and mourning this day. And we pray for all those who are grieving and mourning this day, for those who have lost recently. Hear us, O God. Lord God, we praise you for a new great-granddaughter, Bentley, and we are so thankful, and we pray for 
the health of the baby and the mama and um, and for the joy. Pardon? <laughs> Five pounds, two ounces. Glory be to God. Here is so God. Thank you, Jesus, for for hearing our prayers and hearing those that we lift before you out loud and those that we hold in our hearts. We know that you're walking with us and that you hear us each day. Hear us, oh God. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you all. Please share a moment of peace with each other in the way you feel most comfortable today. I would have loved to have been here. Yeah. You can see you're enjoying it. Well, good morning. Um, just uh, before we get started, as we begin Holy Communion, um, just a, a, a little bit of housekeeping on that. Well, I see some wonderful visitors, so let's be thankful and, and say hello to them. Um, but also, you do not need to be a member of Bethany Lutheran Church to take communion here or a member of this denomination. All are welcome at the Lord's table. Uh, and... And you may pray as long as you like, as long as you would like to be up here. We thank you for your offerings. We, we thank you for all those, your time, your talent, and your treasures. They are all valued and appreciated, and we are so thankful that all of you are here today. So with that, let us begin. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, we praise and we glorify, we worship and we adore. You formed the earth from chaos, you encircled the globe with air, you created fire for warmth 
and light. You nourished the lands with water. You molded us in your image and with mercy higher than the mountains, with grace deeper than the seas, you blessed the Israelites and cherished them as your own. That also we, estranged and dying, might be adopted to live in your spirit. You called to us through the life and death of Jesus. Holy God, holy and merciful, holy and compassionate, send upon us and this meal your Holy Spirit, whose breath revives us for life, whose fire rouses us to love. Enfold in your arms all who share this holy food. Nurture in us the fruits of the Spirit that we may be a living tree, sharing your bounty with all the world. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks. And he gave it for all to drink, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, we remember the Lord Jesus until he comes. For Christ has died, and Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. First, I want to just say, I, I've been up, uh, up doing the camera today, and there's 10 people on Zoom today. And so I just want to, you know, remind you that we are part of this greater community, and as we take this holy meal, we are with all our saints. I want to say thank you to Lasana today for such a beautiful message. And as we come to this table, help us remember God that we have gifts to give for your glory. And Lasana said it so beautifully of just God, God is using his gifts for the glory of God. And what wonderful gifts. But we all have those gifts. We all have something that is of value to God. And so as we come to this holy table, this holy place, come maybe today in Thanksgiving. Come in thanksgiving, because God has been with you on some journey in life, and we are thankful for every part of it. And some of it has been hard, I know, for many people. But God is with you on all those roads, the highs and the lows and the valleys. God is walking with you. Let us be here today for the glory of God. For our friends online, this is the body of Christ, and it is given for you. And this is the blood of Christ, and it is shed for you. Amen. All are welcome at the table of grace.
please pray with me. Gracious God, in you we live and move and have our being. With your word and with this meal of grace, you have nourished our life together. Strengthen us to show your love and serve the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his favor upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let us sing, How Great Thou Art. Please rise for the... Sings my soul, my soul.